My name is Okunini Kwabna Dapa Siakwai, uh, 1973, Wachidankwa House, and I'm the national president. Yeah, one year into coming into office, uh, that was 2013. That was when we initiated the project. Our science, uh, old science uh, laboratory, was one of the best when we were here. And like I told you, I left here in 73. So when I came here in 1968, there about right down to maybe the 80s, Kumakas lab was one of the best, if not the best at the time, because we had other schools around coming here for their laboratory. And we also had even students from U.S. coming here. So I remember very well. But over time, we lost that, uh, uh, we lost that share and that uh, opportunity. Initially, we wanted to do a sick bay. So when the sick bay came on, then the assembly helped us to complete it. So we, the, the past students thought of another project, which will be monumental, which we can point to and say that this is from past students of Kumaka. The design has its own story. Some people would make it difficult for us to do the project. They said, no, we have physics, chemistry, mass. So if you want to consider a science lab, then why don't we have three blocks? The president took the challenge and then he contacted an architect who produced this drawing. But when he came as an engineer, somebody with a little knowledge in building, I was taken aback. I said, wow, where do we find money to do this? If the sick bay was a struggle, how do we do it? But I assured that there's, where there's a will, there's a way. With the motto of Mons Academy. Old lab, I came to meet here and I was told that it was built about some 56 years ago or so. And I think it was meant to cater for just a, a smaller number of students. But as time has passed by, the student population keeps increasing. And it is the same lab that caters for this increased number of students in the school. So there's a lot of stress and the old lab to the extent that we only have just about two, uh, let me say two labs that like within the old lab with some three inner offices where we keep all our consumables and then the gadgets that we use for practicals. If you want to do a practical, you have to go and pack everything, bring it into the lab. After the practical, you pack everything back for the next subject to also come in to also perform their lab was what is really tedious and time consuming at a certain stage we have to intensify our uh, uh, in terms of information to the general public and to also institutions to make sure that people become interested especially our own old students and god being so good the challenge was taken up and now we saw uh, key people who were making major donations and that actually gave a lot of confidence that indeed we can finish this project. So the initial challenge was one even of trust. Can we trust you with the money that uh, you are asking us to give you? It was a major challenge and there was also misunderstanding as, as to whether or not we even needed a big project like this. A lot of them thought that, that the project was too big, it was something that is not doable but those of us who started the project and knew what we were about, we had a lot of faith in this project. This science lab is a big one, of course. And if I'm not exaggerating, it's the biggest nationwide. It will be of a great importance, significant to us and my administration, because it's going to enhance science education in the school. I think that this new lab, in fact, once we have separate lab for chemistry, biology and physics, is going to help the department improve on a lot of things in the school. Kumaka is a great school. And this science lab happens to be the very best in, in Ghana. It's beating all the other science. They have modern infrastructure. They have a gas pipeline. Everything that a modern um, science lab needs, we have it here. Come, let's support the project. Let's make it big. The other past students, 
this is what we have. This is the school that made us what we are. But without passing through the four corners of Kumasi Academy, I would not have been able to be the person that I am. I would not have been able to go to the university. I would not have been able to go to the school of law. I would not have been able to be a lawyer without Kumasi Academy. We, the old students, are the owners of this school. The school is crying for us. And therefore, we need to come together and hold Kumasi Academy up. Because we started with the best lab in Ghana. And now we are building the best lab in Ghana again. We can do it. Sabalaba, yeah, 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 yeah. Bruce, thank you, Apinini.